Hello, lovely to see you. I'm just getting ready for today's recipe. It's going to be so scrumptious today and I can't wait. Come in. Hello, Katie. Hello, Hello Jane. Katie. Hi, guys. Come in, come in quickly. Come on. Now, do you want to know what delicious recipe we're going to cook today? Yeah. <laughs> Today's mouth-watering recipe is going to be cheesy chicken. Now, doesn't that look tasty? Yes! <laughs> We're nearly ready to make a start, but there's one thing that we need to do first. Do you know what it is? Wash our hands! Roll up your sleeves, give your hands a wash with slippy dippy soap. Splish, splash, flush, have you done your hands? Washed and dried, sleeves rolled up, apron tied. What can you do? I can cook. Let's get cooking, everyone. Yes! <laughs> now, to make our cheesy chicken, we need to start with two cherry tomatoes like this. What do you think they look like, guys? Eyes. Eyes? Well, like this. Hello, my name's Mr. Tomato. <laughs> Now, we need to chop up these tomatoes with a clean pair of scissors like this. But remember, when using scissors, everybody knows that it's always best to point them at your... Toes! At your toes, that's right. We're going to make our tomatoes explode. And we'll start with small little snips, and then we'll do bigger ones. <laughs> Look at them! Oh, squish! <laughs> James, how are you doing with your snipping? Good. <laughs> Can you pretend to do snipping at home with your fingers like this? Snip, 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 snip. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, that's brilliant. Well done. That's fantastic. I've chopped mine into loads of pieces. And now we need to add a pinch of pepper to add lots of flavour to our cheesy chicken. Can you get your pinchy fingers out? Pinch, 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 pinch. <laughs> and we're going to take a pinch of our pepper. Only a small pinch. Sprinkle it in. Now take a look at this. It's a herb called basil. And it's going to add lots of really yummy flavour to our cheesy chicken. Now if you take the leaves on your table, everyone, and smell them, what does it smell like? It doesn't smell like any ordinary leaves. Does it smell nice, though? Yes. yes. It tastes even better when you put it in your food as well. Now, we're only going to need a few leaves, so take your leaves from your bowl, and can you guess what we're going to do with them? Tear them. That's right, we're going to tear them up. So tear them up a bit like tearing paper. And then sprinkle them into your bowl with your tomatoes as well. Can you pretend to tear at home as well, like this? Tear, tear, tear. Can you do that? It's raining leaves in your bowl, Pierce. <laughs> Can everyone make it rain leaves? <laughs> That's a well done, James. That's perfect. Very good. Now, what do you think we're going to need next in our recipe? Let's put you to the test. Today's ingredient for you to guess. What do you think it's going to be? Now, let me give you some clues. The missing ingredient for our cheesy chicken comes in lots of different colours. So could it be... Tea towels? You're right, we can't eat tea towels. But they will come in very useful later on when we do the drying up. The missing ingredient is also crunchy. So could it be... <laughs> breakfast cereal? Well, I've already had my cereal. Let's move on. <laughs> now, the missing ingredient also has lots of seeds hiding inside of it. So could it be... It's an orange pepper! Did you work it out? We're going to need an orange pepper in our cheesy chicken. Now let's go and find out how peppers grow in the I Can Cook garden. Come on! Welcome to the I Can Cook Garden, everyone. 
Where in the garden do you think we'll find peppers growing? Do you think that they will be growing underneath the ground? Do you think they'll be growing on a bush? Or in the greenhouse? What do you think? In the greenhouse. They will be in the greenhouse. Do you want to go and have a look? OK, let's go. Come on. Can everyone see my peppers growing? Can you see them on my plants? So when do you think that these ones will be ready to pick? When they're really big. When they're really big, about that big. Can we all make that size with our hands? We can eat peppers when they're the colours of traffic lights. Now, what colours are those? Green, red, orange and red. Red, orange and green. They're the sweetest when they're red and when they're orange. So, should we pick some peppers? Yeah. Give it a good tug, a good old tug. That's it. And then pull. So twist it around like a door. Ah, oh, that one came off easily. Now we've finished picking our peppers, let's get back to the kitchen. Now we've washed our hands and we've washed our peppers and we're back in the kitchen and we're ready to carry on cooking. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Okay, now we've got our orange pepper and we're going to pop it. So we need to put our hands around the pepper like this and then use our thumbs and we're going to pop it. So push the green part down. Pop! <laughs> push really hard, that's it. And then pull this little part out like that. Ooh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> we're going to put our thumbs in the pepper like this and then we're going to rip it into two pieces. Let's make a big rip sound when we do it. One, two, three. <laughs> and now we need to rip out all of the white fleshy bits inside our pepper. So can you rip the fleshy bits out like that? Well done, Ellie. That's really good. And now we're going to tap the pepper to try and get all the seeds out. What do the seeds make you think of, everyone? Rain. Do you think they look like rain? Yeah, yeah. There we go, we've got two pieces of pepper. Now, don't you think that they look a bit like shells? Yeah. Yes. A bit like boats. Do you think they look a bit like boats? Mine looks like a speedboat if you don't rip it. <laughs> And now we're going to take a baking tray with some baking paper on top of it, like this. I've already oiled yours for you, so that's good, isn't it? Now we need to take one of our pepper shells and put it on top of the tray. And then we're going to fill up our pepper. And to do this, we're going to start with some roast chicken that I already cooked earlier on. And we're going to rip it into small pieces. Now make sure you get it into all of the little holes right at the back. Do you like stuffing the pepper, James? Yeah. It's fun, isn't it? I love stuffing peppers. But don't completely fill up your peppers because there's still lots of ingredients to come. Like chocolate. Like <laughs> chocolate? We're not going to put chocolate in our cheesy chicken. Cheesy chocolate chip. Cheesy chocolate chip. Cheesy chocolate chicken. Cheesy chocolate chicken marmalade. <laughs> so next, we're going to add the rest of the cherry tomato mixture into our stuffed pepper. So, you can take as much as you want. There you go, spoon it on. <laughs> Who's looking forward to eating their cheesy chicken? Me! I think this is going to be really tasty. Now we're going to take some cheese like this, and it's a special type of cheese called mozzarella cheese. And it's quite soft and squishy. What do you think it looks like? Ice cream! No, ice cream. Why does it look like ice cream? Because sometimes ice cream is white. We have to squish yeah. it. Yeah. So let's get squashing. Come on, use your fork and squash it up. Until it goes all squishy. We're going to add the mozzarella into our stuffed pepper. So get your fingers really sticky and we're going to 
stuff it on top. Can you push it into all the little holes in your pepper, like this? Let's see everyone's fingers. Who's got sticky fingers? <laughs> I'm going to give mine a quick wipe. <laughs> and now we're going to take a pinch of pepper, so we need to get out our pinchy fingers. <laughs> Can you make it quack like a duck? Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> pepper is going to add lots of lovely flavour to our cheesy chicken. So take a pinch and sprinkle it on top. Then we're going to add the very last bit of our cheesy chicken, and it's my favourite part. Do you know what it is? Cheese! Some grated cheese. And you can sprinkle on as much as you want. Piers, how much cheese have you put on? A lot. <laughs> Why have you put a lot of cheese on? Because I really, 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 really love cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and now... It's time to put our cheesy chicken in the oven for 20 minutes. But remember, everyone, with ovens, beware, because it's hot in there. So get an adult to help you. Come on, everyone, bring your cheesy chicken. Thank you. Oh, that looks fantastic. <laughs> Whilst our cheesy chickens are cooking, it's time to... Now, it's always good to put away so we can use things another day. So now, it's time to remember what we've made today. Chop, chop, chop tomatoes, chop, chop, chop. Tear, tear, tear some basil, tear it up. Push out the pepper seeds, push, push, push. Brush the tray with olive oil, brush, brush, brush. Tear, tear, tear the chicken, tear away. Spoon the tomatoes on, cover halfway. Squash, squash, mozzarella, squash, squash, squash. Mash it with a fork, mash, mash, mash. Spoon, spoon, spoon the cheese, spread it all around. Put the peppers in the oven till they're golden brown. <laughs> Our cheesy chickens have cooked. And whilst they cool down... everyone the cheesy chickens cooled down and it's ready to eat the waiting is over enough of this talk let's taste what we've cooked with a knife and a fork come on everyone what do you think of yours Chloe I like it what about yours Ellie it's yummy our cheesy chicken is scrumptious we did it we <laughs> That's it for now. I can't wait to see you all again soon, but just remember that you can cook too. Mm. <laughs> Which bit do you like best, James? I like the chicken the best. Yummy, yummy, yummy. If you want to make today's recipe, then go to bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies. Oh. What's that noise? Oh, no. It's Andy's grumbling tummy. Are you hungry again, Andy? Yes, I am. But I don't know what to eat. Ah. Oh, I know just the place to find the perfect thing for you, Andy. Yeah? Why don't you come with me? Oh, uh, see you soon. I'll get it. Hello, Katie. <laughs> hello, Alex. Welcome to I Can Cook. Say hello to some of my friends. There's... Olivia. Aisha. Sam. Courtney. Hello. So, what's the problem, Alex? Well, Katie, it's Andy. Listen. Ah, he's got a grumbling tummy. Exactly. So, I need something tasty, and I need it fast. I know. We'll make an easy-peasy pizza. Ready, everyone? Yeah! <laughs> and, Alex, we've got a special job for you. Come on, everyone, let's get to it. What are you doing? We're getting the ingredients ready. Tomatoes, grapes and cheese. Ah, so is my special job helping you? No. no. What are you two up to? 
We're rolling the base and putting the ingredients on the pizza. Ah, so is my special job to help you? No. So what are you two doing? We put the pizza in the oven and we're waiting for it to kick. <laughs> and here we are. One easy peasy pizza ready for Andy's grumbling tummy. And not a moment too soon. <laughs> but Katie, I thought you said I had a special job. Yes. Well, what is it? To be our easy peasy pizza taster, of course. And here's an easy peasy pizza for Andy's grumbling tummy. But don't forget to come and visit us again soon, Alex. Oh, I'll be back to see you. Bye, Alex. Bye. 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 See you soon. Bye. Bye. Andy, you don't have to eat that. Look, here is one easy peasy pizza. Yes, excellent. And remember, I Can Cook is only here on CBeebies, so don't miss it. Oh, don't eat it all. I mean, after all, I did help to make it. Mm, delicious.